Hello friends, this video on quadrilaterals part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Next question is ABCD is a rectangle and PQR is again the midpoint of the sides. We have to prove that quadrilateral PQR is a rhombus this time. So let's see this. ABCD is a rectangle and PQR is at the midpoint. So we have P, Q, R and S are the midpoints of these sides. And we have this diagonal here. So we have to prove this this particular figure we get. This PQRS is rhombus. Right? So we have proved PQRS to be a parallelogram. That is what we have proved earlier. Now we have to prove PQRS to be a rhombus. That means all the sides are equal. Right? So if we can, that is, we know that we have already proved that PQ is equal to SR and PS is equal to RQ. Right? So if we can just prove that two sides are equal, we are done. Right? So let's prove that we PQ is equal to QR. Let's prove PQ is equal to QR. Let's try to prove that. That PQ is equal to QR. So if we just take this triangle APS and BPQ, if we take these two triangles, okay, A, okay, this is angle A here, APS, B P Q. So you'll see that angle B is equal to angle B 90 degree. A P will be equal to B P S because P is the midpoint of A B. And let's see A S and B Q in relationship. A S and B Q yes because A S is A D by 2 and B Q is B C by 2. Here also there is a relation. So both these triangles are congruent. Correct? If these two triangles are congruent, what happens is I can say that PS is equal to PQ. PS is equal to PQ. In fact, PS is equal to PQ also help now because we have proved it now. Okay. So triangle SAP is congruent to triangle QBP, right? By side angle side. Why? If you see AD is equal to BC divided by 2 that is AS is equal to BQ that is one side plus AB by 2 is equal to AB by 2 or AP is equal to PB and the angle is 90 degree. So this is proved and since this is proved therefore PS is equal to PQ. So if PS is equal to PQ, that means it is a rhombus, already a parallelogram. Now if these two sides are equal, adjacent side, that means it is a rhombus because PS is equal to PQ, PS is equal to QR we know and PQ is equal to this SR we know because the opposite side of parallelogram, thus all the sides are equal. I think we have done similar question, ABC is a trapezium and AB is parallel to CD. BD is the diagonal and E is the midpoint of this line AD and we have to prove that F is the midpoint of this. Since ED E is the midpoint of this in this triangle and since EF is parallel to AB, let's call this point as 0. So DO will be the midpoint of DB. This we can prove. Now if we take this triangle, since uh, DC is parallel to OF and O is the midpoint of DB, F will become the midpoint of BC. We can just prove that way. It is easy. So in this parallelogram, A, B, C, D, E, and F are midpoints of the side A, B, and uh, B, C given. That is, this side is equal to this. This is equal to this. So we have to prove that the line segment A, F, and E, C trisects this. So we can easily prove that actually I will show you the concept you can try it on your own. If you see this triangle DQC, FP is parallel to CQ. 
right now because of that what will happen is dp will be equal to pq okay now if you take this triangle abp where e is the midpoint of ab and eq is parallel to ap thus q will be the midpoint of pb so pq will be equal to qb thus if you see all these three sides are equal okay first you have to take this triangle and then you make sure these sides are equal then you take this triangle and then you show that these sides are equal so these three sides are equal so we have to prove that the line segment running the midpoints of the opposite side so let this be a quadrilateral abcd the midpoints opposite side if you join this is the one and the midpoints let this midpoint be uh, pqrs so p and r is joined and s and q is joined and they bisect i mean they meet at a point o so we have to prove that that this bisect this this we have to prove that so is equal to oq and or is equal to op that is what we have to prove and they are the midpoints of any quadrilateral see if you join these points actually we can prove that pqrs is a parallelogram we have done this so many times any quadrilateral if you take the midpoint if you see if you have to first draw a diagonal here then you will see that these two lines are parallel and equal these two lines are parallel and equal right so first let me draw a diagonal and show you sp is parallel to db and sp is equal to half of db similarly qr is parallel to db and qr is equal to half of db now the sp is parallel to qr and they are equal so it is a parallelogram since it is a parallelogram their diagonals will bisect each other that's a property right and thus SO is equal to OQ and OR is equal to OP. Proved. Pretty simple, right? If you just connect the dots. So now since PQRS is a parallelogram, the diagonals of the PQRS will bisect each other. And then the, the, the diagonals of PQRS is nothing but PR and SQ. So RO is, will be equal to OP and SO will be equal to OQ. And that is what we had to prove. Okay. Let's take one more example. ABC is a triangle, right angle at C. So let's make it as A, B and C, right angle at C, yeah. A line through the midpoint M of hypotenuse AB, which is midpoint M of hypotenuse AB, and parallel to BC intersects AC at D. We have to prove that D is the midpoint of BC. That is, we can easily prove. Why? Because this, since MD is parallel to BC and M is the midpoint of AB, so D will be the midpoint of AC, as per theorem, right? Midpoint theorem. So this is true. So that means this is equal to this, and this is equal to this given. Second is prove that MD is parallel to AC, perpendicular to AC. See, we can easily prove that. See, if MD is parallel to BC, this angle is 90, this angle is also 90. This MD's angle is 90, that means MD is perpendicular to AC. Then CM is equal to MA. CM. Okay, let's join the CM. CM is equal to MA is equal to half AB. See, MA is equal to half AB is already there. Okay, it's given. So we have to just prove that CM is equal to either AB by 2 or we have to prove that CM is equal to M A. See to prove CM is equal to M A, what we have to do, we can prove that these two triangles are congruent. And let's try to do this. So let's take these two triangles. Okay. This is M D C M D C and this is M D A. These angles are congruent. A D and D C is same. And MD, MD is common. 
So if you see these two triangles are congruent by SAS. Since these two triangles are congruent, I can say that CM is equal to MA. Therefore, CM is equal to MA. Correct? If CM is equal to MA, and we know that CM, sorry, we know that MA is equal to half AB that is given. And if CM is equal to MA, CM is equal to MA is equal to half AB. You can easily prove that. Okay. Okay, let's take a quick summary of what we have done in this chapter. The sum of angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degree. A diagonal of a parallelogram divides it into two congruent triangles. We have seen that. In a parallelogram, opposite sides are equal and opposite angles are also equal. The diagonal bisects each other. A quadrilateral is a parallelogram if we have seen that the opposite sides are equal or the opposite angles are equal or the diagonal bisect each other or we have seen the pair of opposite sides is equal in parallel. If any of these conditions is true then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. The diagonal of a rectangle bisect each other and are equal and vice versa. The diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other at right angles and vice versa. The diagonal of a square bisect each other at right angle and they are equal also. The line segment joining the midpoint of any two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and is equal to half of it, the midpoint theorem. A line through the midpoint of a side of a triangle parallel to another side bisects the third side, the converse of the midpoint theorem. The quadrilateral form by joining the midpoints of the sides of the quadrilateral in order is a parallelogram. So we have proved this as well. You take any uh, quadrilateral and you take the midpoints of all these quadrilateral and you create a again a more quadrilateral from this midpoints and this quadrilateral will always be a parallel. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.